y'all, it's American Mum. Um, I'm going to be reacting to Once Upon a Time, Episode 8. I will catch up, I promise. Last time we saw Episode 7 was called Eloise Gardner, and we saw how uh, the witch, the gothel, the whatever she is, was disguised as Rapunzel, and Anyway, um, she and Hook had a baby, and then that's how Hook, uh, aka Detective Rogers in this world, has a, a daughter. He's still looking for his daughter, and I believe it is Alice in Wonderland, because he named the baby Alice. Right? So, but I don't think, Alice has her memories though, because she said something to Victoria episodes ago about waking up. Does she not know that that's, I wonder when they got separated. That's a little bit confusing. Um, but Victoria um, Bellingham, Bellum, Whatever, I, whatever her name is, I always want to say Victoria Beckham, Ivy's stepmother, the evil stepmother, is now sent to prison. She's been arrested. So, I don't know what Ivy's going to be up to, but I'm ready to watch this, so let's do this. I guess I got a little too ambitious. Hey, no risk, no reward. Oh, uh, uh I'm sorry. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just complicated. Ella, this is Alice from Wonderland. And other places. Other places. You've been to Wonderland? Yep, been there, done that. I need to find someone. I think you might know where he is. Alice, is it really you? Yes, yeah. yes, it's me. <laughs> but is it really you? You. You're so young. <laughs> it was magic. I just. It is his daughter. Oh. You know my heart is poison. You can't come near me. No, it's okay. I'm, I found a cure. I've been shielded. A cure? Yes, Papa. I've missed you so much. <laughs> no! Ah! Papa, no! Huh? Ah! You just told Lucy you would do everything, so do everything. Isn't Lucy worth the risk? I mean, I knew everything about my mother, but... How could I have not known that she kidnapped poor Eloise Gardner? Perfect. That was great, Ivy. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah thank you so much for doing this interview. I mean, I know it can't be easy to talk about what happened. You're in for it, Ivy. Drizella. You stay away from Henry. Yeah. Oh, what a threat, very evil queen. Tell me, is that how you convinced Jacinda to blow off Henry the other night? How are you? You adjusting okay? Honestly, I'm having trouble sleeping. You should not eat well, that, right? You've been plunged into a strange new world. Most people say Blue Monday. Well, most people would be wrong. Ain't it the Who truth? Who are you? Hey, I'm Henry. Nick. Nick. <clears throat> Nick. Henry, you do have met. That's that's great. We haven't met. You're that Henry. Jade told me you wrote Lucy's favorite book. Oh, so you know Jacinda. And Lucy. Nick's a lawyer. He's the guy that I hired uh, to help get Lucy back. Whatever. I'm not just the lawyer. I'm also Lucy's dad. Oh, no, it just reminds me of a story. How my grandpa met my grandma. He trapped her in a net. That's weird and aggressive. Yeah, well, she hit him with a rock first. <laughs> How often did they get separated? I'm oh. surprised, but it always worked out. Yeah. You ever think you're a bit naive, Henry? I know that where you come from, true love yes, always wins. On their wedding day, she gave him a set of matching lockets. They were enchanted to glow, so they would always find each other, just as their hearts would. 
So maybe you can give her one. Now that Regina has her memories back, Ronnie, whatever. I'll reach out to her. Does she know Tilly is Alice? Hey, what's this? Mm -hmm. Tell her who made it. It's a thank you from Anna Yeah, don't eat it. Huh? <laughs> thank you. What the hell was that for? Too much sugar will kill you. Tell me why. Why do you want to wake her? That's what I was Maybe wondering. Maybe I just miss my sister. No. You don't strike me as a sentimental type. Eh, fair enough. There is magic in that little lifeless body. Magic that belongs to me. Okay, I will do everything I can to make sure that happens. Where have you been for 10 years? Thanks. All right, we will get Lucy back. I promise. Who's set him up? With all this and giving him the memory that that Lucy's his daughter. Who is he? Where did you get this? Get that back. That's not yours. It's my mother's. Look familiar? Yeah, my father had a had a mark like that. What is it? It's part of the curse of the poisoned heart. It appears when you're touched by the one you can't be with. Is that what she gave her? If my father had the same mark. My mother's heart was poisoned too. She left to protect us. Trust me. If your touch could kill the one you loved, you'd want to be lost too. Well, I must say, your mother's on to something with this freezing spell. My favorite, the one that can poison hearts. Specifically, yours. What's happening? It's all yours. And you're clearly all dressed up on a date. So now he's pissed. Good job. How about we never find out? <laughs> Hell. Have a nice trip home. <sighs> so she didn't poison his heart? Okay. <sighs> Finally, for freaking ever. But in this other world, they're not together, so. So they did kiss. Good to know. Victoria convinced me that I would lose Lucy completely if I tried to fight her. I should have risked it. But I was scared. Rumpel still scared. Well, didn't he sleep for a hundred years? That was Rip Van Winkle, <laughs> and we're not doing this. Yeah. I'm awake, and so are you. You're always awake. <laughs> And I'm sure you think you have a good reason for pretending you're not, but it's time to drop it. Drizella and Gothel are working together, and we both know how bad that's going to be for everyone, including Henry, your grandson? My grandson. I'm not even married. Stop it! The only thing we've teamed up for is a few happy hours. He's away. What's he doing? If you're keeping your cover because of the Guardian, it's the wrong move. Belle wouldn't want this. Who's Belle? Never mind. I'm glad to see she failed. Um, look. Alice wanted us to give you this. I gave her this to remember me by. It's another she says she doesn't need a reminder. Another chess piece. You two will be together again. She knows you'll find the real cure. Why, well, you slimy, double crossing, no good swindler. You got a lot of guts coming here. After what you pulled. What? <laughs> you, you know, one of these days you're going to have to take me back. Ella, this is Jack. The first friend I met in this room. And Jack, this is Ella. Jack from where? 
Checking the beanstalk. find each other no matter what yeah there's someone I want you to meet this is Nick he's your father baby it's very nice to meet you Lucy I'm glad you and your mom are back together thank you I'm out of options here in Hyperion Heights so I'm going to San Francisco Okay, what the hell is in San Francisco? Someone, Victoria Belfry, pushed out of Hyperion Heights a long time ago. Someone who can help us. Great. Someone who hates me with every fiber of their being. Less great. But as I, I said, that could be. of options. Could be anybody. And you, Henry Mills, could definitely use a change of scenery. A way to fill the time now that I find out where he's gone now. But now maybe we'll drift off the planet in the same direction. going to Hyperion Heights had his heart poisoned so he cannot find the one he's supposed to be with which is his daughter um, I'm still confused whether or not Alice or Tilly knows that you know that's her dad because like I said earlier I felt like she's wake she's been she's been awake she said something to Victoria episodes ago about everyone around needed to wake up or something like that. Anyway, uh, Ronnie and Henry are going to take a road trip. They need to get away. Who does she need to see that hates her guts? It's going to be somebody from the past that maybe I know, maybe visited Storybrooke, or maybe I don't know who this is. I don't know. Um, we visited Wonderland, and um, Ella found out that her mother was there, but that her heart got poisoned. by this, uh, what were they saying? Um, just basically a witch. And I thought it was Gothel or something. It was Drusella. She was doing the poisoning of the hearts. So her mother stayed, even though Ella thought her mom had um, left the family and didn't want to return. But she didn't return so that she didn't harm them. But then she died in Wonderland. So at least she knows the truth. Um, Tilly, a.k.a. Alice, told her what happened. Um, she and Henry finally kissed. Um, of course, they don't remember this uh, in today's world. But this guy, Nick... That was the lawyer and helped get Lucy out of the home and back to Jacinda. He hasn't seen her in 10 years. His name was Jack in the other realm and Henry knew him. He was the first person he met. The only Jack that I can think of is Jack from the Beanstalk. I don't know. <laughs> I'm anxious to see uh, who Ronnie is meeting up with, that she's going to need help from, uh, but that can't stand her. Let's see how she pulls that one off. 
Uh, we ended up with um, Victoria kept the casket that Anastasia was in in a place that Ivy was like very matter of fact oh I found it like you know I knew it would be there and it was empty she wants the magic that's in her as well Gisela already told us that she had magic she was born with it but I guess she wants more all right so until we see the next episode bye